What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your meteorologist, Sam McKinney, and today I'm finally back with my second part of my Tornado podcast. I deeply apologize that it's, that it's taken me this long to get it to you guys. You know, I've been so uh, busy with giving you guys um, the latest updates on the coronavirus, latest updates on the potential sphere threats hitting on um, the south, and homework and everything. You know, with me being out of school since um, b- since, since before March, I've been really wrapped up with wrapped wrapped up, I guess you could say, with everything. So I'm really glad I was able to find some time to record this for you guys. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy it because I had a lot of fun um, recording it. So now in this part of my podcast, I'm going to be going more in depth, um, talking about the Enhanced Vegeta Scale, what it is and how we use it. I'm going to show you the different um, types of tornadoes and um, the damage that they can do. So now I want to jump right into what the enhanced Vegeta scale is. Now, what it is, it's a scale. What it is, it's a scale that um, that meteorologists use to categorize tornadoes, kind of um, the, the kind of like we categorize hurricanes. You know, it categorizes them on their size, um, their strength, and the damage. Okay. So now there's there's six different types of categories for tornadoes. They they extend from um, EF zeros to EF one, EF two, EF three, EF four, and EF five. Obviously, EF zero being, you know, the smallest, and EF five being the biggest. Now, um, what an EF zero is is it's a, it's a tornado that has that has wind speeds ranging anywhere from sixty five to eighty five miles per hour, and the damage with that tornado is not going to be very. It's not going to be that bad. It's just going to be light. Now, as we go down to an EF1, you're going to have wind speeds ranging from 86 to 110 miles per hour. And the damage with a um, with an EF2, with an EF1 tornado is going to be kind of moderate. You're going to have a little bit more damage than you would have with an EF0, but it's not going to be it's it's going to be it's not going to be as bad. Okay. Now, as we go down to an EF2 uh, tornado, you're going to have wind speeds of 111 to 135 miles per hour, and there's going to be con- some and there's going to be um, some considerable damage. You know, there's going to be, as I said, you know, lo- a little bit more damage than you would have with an EF1 tornado. Now, as we go down to an EF3 tornado, you're going to have wind speeds ranging from 136 to 165. Now, to give you guys a picture of what that is. Um, a Category 5 hurricane has wind, has maximum wind speeds of 165, okay? So if you so that is basically, if you have wind speeds going from 136 to 165, an EF3 tornado is basically a summary, I guess you could say, of a high-grade Category 4 hurricane or a, or, or a, like a mid-grade Category 5 hurricane, okay? Now with an EF4 tornado, you're going to have devastating damage. Um, wind speeds are going to be ranging anywhere from a 166 to 200 miles per hour. So that is basically around a Category 6 hurricane. Obviously, we don't have one. Uh, we don't have a Category 6 hurricane um, anywhere. But if we did have one, that's what it would be. Now, an EF5 tornado is going to be the worst tornado you could ever have. You're going you're gonna to have wind speeds over 200 miles per hour. And the damage is going to be incredible. So now let's jump in. Now let's jump right into what an EF0 tornado would look like. As you can see on the picture that I'm showing you, it's a very low-grade tornado. As you can see, it has a very small funnel. Um, as you can see, it is in a field, so it is, it is picking up quite a little bit of dirt, but it's not really that bad. And here's a picture um, of what of what some damage would look like with an EF zero tornado. As you can see, you know parts of the roof are gone. You have some uh, tree branches or tree limbs in the yard, but it's not too bad. Now, as we go to an EF one tornado, as you can see, the funnel is a little bit more defined, and you know it's darker out. And it's a little bit more wider. Now, as we go to the damage of an EF1 tornado, as you can see, there's a little bit more damage with an EF1 than an EF0. You know, there's a lot more debris on the road, and, you know, a lot more pieces of the roof are gone. Now, as we go to an EF2 tornado, as you can see, that the funnel is kind of coming diagonal, as you can see. It is much more it's, it's much more wider. Um, it, is, it is picking up a lot more debris, and it's definitely a little bit more worse than an EF1. Now, as you can see, uh, with the damage of an EF2 tornado, as you can see right now, that, that, that uh, part of the house is completely ripped out of the house. Um, you can see all that on um, that uh, shattered glass on the floor. Uh, you know, all those uh, the, the parts of the roof are gone. There's a lot more damage with that tornado. Now, I think I, th- I now I believe this is yeah, this is an EF3 tornado. As you can see, you can uh, you can see a lot more dirt being picked up with this tornado. Um, the base of it is wider. Um, you know, and it's picking up a lot more stuff. Now, as you can see, the damage with an EF3 that whole side of that I guess you could say complex area is completely ripped off the roof is pretty much gone and there's there's not really much left now with an EF4 tornado remember this is the tornado that's kind of that that's kind of like an E like a, like a category 6 hurricane okay as you can see the the um the 
the bottom of that tornado is very, very wide. You can see all that debris being picked up and sucked into the funnel of that gigantic monster. It is just terrible. Now, here is a picture of um, of, a, of a damage and of a Category 4 hurricane. As you can see, you know, that one little house is barely standing. You know, you have a few trees standing. That car is completely flipped over. And look at all of that debris and damage that is surrounding that house, those trees, and that car. I mean, that is absolutely devastating. Now, as we go to an, uh, an EF5, this is the monster of all tornadoes. Look at that base. That base is close to anywhere from a mile to a mile and a half wide. I mean, if you're driving down a highway, you know, if you have your phone and you count how long a, driving a mile is or a mile and a half, that's how long it would take you to get through, to drive through that monster. And once again, the wind speeds in this kind of monster are over 200 miles per hour. I mean, if you're going down on a highway, you're you're usually driving around 60 to 70 miles per 60 to 70 miles per hour. Imagine driving five times faster than that. That is unbelievable. Now look at the damage with this monster. There is absolutely nothing standing. Trees, I mean, uh, houses are completely leveled. You know, there's no. I mean, you can't even. I can't. I don't even see any cars in that picture. I mean, it is absolutely devastating the amount of damage and wind speeds that a category that an ef5 tornado can really really make um so this is all i have for you guys um thank you, i thank you guys so much for uh, for being patient with me during these times um i hope I, I hope everybody is staying safe um so this morning i did um post an uh, another video this morning um it was an update on the coronavirus um, i hope everybody is staying safe um once again a huge shout out to all of the healthcare providers, doctors, and nurses there. A big thank you to those. And a big thank you to you guys for being so patient with me, um, working around my schedule, waiting for me to post these things. Um, I try and post videos for you guys um, every one to two days, whether it's on a... Um, whether it's a weather report or an update on the coronavirus, um, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I um, and I hope you really enjoy them. So this is the end of my podcast. Um, uh, I try, I'm going to try and possibly do another podcast in the next few days, and it's going to be on thunderstorms. I'm really excited to do that, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great day.